In this video, we're going to learn how to solve problems involving complex numbers with the Casio FS Standard One ES calculator or the Casio FS 570 ES calculator. That's the black one and not the white one. In seconds for multiple choice questions. Now, after going through this video, you will be able to solve problems involving complex numbers with the Casio calculator. So guys, ensure you stay with me to the very end of this video. As you can see, I have from one to seven questions here we need to solve. So guys, ensure you stay with me once more to the end of this video so that you get the full information. Okay, so having known that, let's bring the Casio calculator and go straight to solving these problems. Okay guys, this is a Casio calculator. Now the first thing you have to do is to clear your calculator. The essence of doing that is to put your calculator in default mode because I don't know whether you might have put your calculator in a different mode or stored a different number in it before. So guys, so avoid unnecessary error while solving whatever present problem you want to solve with the calculator. You are advised to clear so that you now have wrong values. So to do that, to simply clear, you press shift but now for the instruction, we want to clear or initialize or we press 3. Then for the instruction, equal to yes. Then press equal to. Let's press equal to again. So either I press AC key or press equal to again. Well, let's press equal to again. So guys, we have cleared it. It's now what in default mode. Very important, guys. If you are watching some of my videos, you will know that I often say this. Very important, guys. Very calculated before you begin to solve whatever problem you want to solve. Okay, so having cleared. Next thing we have to do now, since we want to store complex number problems, we have to put a calculator in the in complex mode. Now this calculator has various modes. The calculator has various modes, guys. Now to so bring out the mode of the calculator, you simply press this menu button and it will appear. So if you check, we have option one calculation, complex option two base option but since we want complex number let's simply go to option two that's complex mode so once you do it indicate here that it's now in what complex mode this i indicates that it's now in complex mode so guys having put it in complex mode let's go ahead and we're going to solve each of these problems now question one says if z1 equals 4 minus 5i and z2 equals 6 plus 13 i find z1 plus z2 okay guys simple addition now for doing this i recommend that you should be solving it with brackets don't just solve this straight like that so guys you begin you put them in brackets respectively so for z1 we have 4 minus 5 i to bring out the i put this ng box and it will come out close the brackets then put the plus sign then open the brackets z2 is what will have it to be 6 plus 13 i to the brackets so that's exactly what we have there for question one press equal to okay so our answer is what 10 plus 8 i so that's the answer for question one so let's solve question two very, very simple guys so this one is subtraction z1 is this so you put it in brackets very important guys we have minus 6 plus 4i press this ng button at the come out to the brackets then minus open another bracket z2 is what that be 5 plus 9i okay close the brackets we are good to go that's exactly what we have there right so let's pray the code to answer we're going to have so we have it to be minus 11 minus 5i so that's the answer for question two let's check for question three guys very interesting so question two says more put dot we have say if z1 equals this z2 this find z1 z that's product of z1 z that multiplication guys so we put it in brackets we have it to be 5 plus 9i put the brackets open the brackets now we have it the number to be 7 minus 4i put the bracket guys so that's what we have here 
which is equal to now you see your answer 71 plus 43i now you can choose to anyone want anyhow you want to do it. the important thing there is for you to put them in brackets you can choose to put this multiplication sign here if you want you still get the same answer 71 plus what 43i so that's it for multiplication that we put out now let's go back to question four guys very very simple now question four says if z okay let z1 to be this and z2 to be determined z1 over z that division guys so you can put it in brackets so we have two plus three i for z1 okay go down we have z to be five plus seven what i okay so press record to now and see what you're going to get okay so this is the answer that's one over 74 plus one over 74 i so guys this is the answer for the division so we are making progress guys we have like three more questions to solve okay so let's look at question five it says find the modulus of z given that z equals four plus two i so guys the idea of solving for modulus is very simple guys so all you have to do whenever you ask to find modulus is yeah to do the calculator what you have to do is to press that square root of the square of the values you have the that square root of the square of we have square of four this is square of four plus square of two so that's it guys don't put the i remember finding modulus whenever you want to find modulus, don't put the i just solve without the i so we are good to go press record two so this is the answer guys for the modulus you see that you leave it like this if you want to convert it to a decimal number you press sd so 4.47 or press sd it will go back to this so it depends on what you have as your option very, very simple guys so that's for modulus now let's solve for argument and conjugate so guys before you solve for argument and conjugate if you're new to our channel, ensure you subscribe to our channel now by hitting the subscribe button for more of our videos. Also, give this video a thumbs up. This now this is a ghost class, guys. What we do here basically in the ghost class is that we help young scholars like you with tips and other necessary information that will help to simplify your academic problems. So if such tips or necessary information interests you, you will love to be getting it directly from us. Be sure to hit the subscribe button now guys to subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up okay so having done that guys let's go down solve for argument and conjugate of complex numbers okay so you'll see it says find the argument and conjugate of this so to do this remember it's still in complex mode all you simply have to do to make that argument is to having Put it in complex mode is the press option so it's option one stands for argument guys so you press one to so argument of what argument of five plus three i five plus what three i put the bracket then press the quote now you see the answer so the argument is what thirteen point nine six so if our possibility we have that's one degree so that the argument of this complex number now there are some questions in which they leave the arguments in radian in such situation all you simply have to do is press shift menu and go units option two put a calculator in radian option two then come here and press the course again now it will change to radian the answer will convert to radian this is 0.5 or if I want to put it back in degree, simply press shift menu angle unit degree one. I press the quote again and to get back to this. So guys, it depends on what you are asked to do or the examiner, the format he or she wants you to leave the answer either in radian or in degree. Oftentimes usually what in degree. So this is the answer in degree 30.9 see if you convert it at one degree so having solved this argument now let's check for 
conjugate so let's wipe this go back to option so conjugate is what option two conjugate of what we have to buy conjugate of this five plus three i close the brackets then press record to five minus three so that is the conjugate of this so guys very, very simple so lastly in this question we have question seven so we have to resolve this three plus four i in polar form so this three plus four i this is the rectangular form of it now to convert that to polar form all it's similar to do guys very, very simple is to go to you go to option now when you get here you scroll down you see one here you press one this is to convert from rectangular form to polar form that's convert from this form rectangular to polar form see so we press one so once you do it you go to the back of this impute the, the rectangular form of it we have it to be three plus four i press eng the comment the first record to and to convert it to polar form so this is the answer in polar form in angular form so we have it to be five angle fifty three points one three if you are leaving it in two decimal places so we have five angle fifty three point one three guys so this is the value in polar form now what of converting from polar form to rectangular form because you, you, you might not know they might ask you to convert from polar form to rectangular form so to do it easily guys very simple remember okay, let's convert this value now we have and see if we get back to 3 plus 4i let's convert 5 and with 3 plus 1 3 to rectangular form now and see if we have exact or uh, what we just what we're having here now as the rectangular form so it's very, very simple guys Let, let's do it so go back to option okay so go down so to, to convert from polar to rectangular form remember what we just did now was to convert from rectangular to polar now i want to convert from polar to rectangular so instead of going for option one I go for option one two so you come here and put the value for the polar form we want to use five angle time we got the angle you press shift this button to come out we have 53 points one three okay let's convert this to rectangular form and see what we have okay guys as you can see so we have it to be three this three plus now if if you have made this 3.99 you get four if i put 3.99 you get four so if you move this cursor you see ah yeah so this has to convert from polar to rectangular three plus four i it's as simple as that guys but let me show you the other two functions there okay what, what we okay we want to get the imaginary part and the real part of a complex number as you all know in complex number we usually have two parts of your real part and imaginary part we use the option real parts we want to know the real part of complex number real parts of words you see five plus three i okay press the quote to the real parts we show the real parts is what five so this is the left side is right word the real part so this is the real part now i do we want to confirm the imaginary part which i know is usually the right part after the plus okay guys so let's use this same value five plus three i okay so first first of all go to option we are looking for the imaginary parts since we have gotten the real part that's four my part of five plus Sorry, I of which I know the answer will be three. So press record two, so you can see three guys. So this is all you have to know about complex numbers calculations with the Casio calculator. With this Casio FS another one, yes, or Casio FS another one, no, Casio FS five seven for the calculator. So guys, with this we are coming to the end of this class. I hope you learned something interesting. If you are new to our channel once more, make sure you subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button now for more of our videos. Also like, share and comment on this video to tell me how you feel regarding what you have learned 
in this class if you seem to have any specific question to ask feel free to leave your question at the comment section below and i'll ensure to give you a response now don't forget to play a calculator once you are done press shift of which i know by now you have learned it but to now for the instruction this this so guys you have cleared the calculator is now in default mode so that's it for this class guys thanks for watching this video see you in my next video